I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At seven minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. It's Tuesday, and we invite you to stay tuned for Sears Radio Theater. Today, you'll laugh along with your host, Andy Griffith, about things that are funny. Eve Arden and Brooks West star as two middle-agers. They drop the people they've been engaged to for years and get married quickly with hilarious consequences. Listen for Should Old Acquaintance Be Forgot? Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Here is your chance to make someone's dream come true for Valentine's Day. Put their name in lights on Broadway on New York's most exciting light display, Spectacolor. For only $25, your message can blaze over Broadway. Tell her you love her. Ask him to marry you. Call 221-6938 for details. It's 221-6938. For a few extra dollars, they'll even take a picture of your message. So call Spectacolor at 221-6938 now and light up someone's life. to the program objective. We can explain the law in clear, simple language. Free. Information under sub-clause E of clause 1 of subsection B. The commissioner there... Just write Closer Look, Box 1492, Washington, D.C., 20013. That's Closer Look, Box 1492, Washington, D.C., 20013. A public service message on behalf of the United States Office of Education. This is Andy Griffith. Here they come now, the newlyweds, Fred and Margaret Jackson, fresh from the wedding ceremony and the honeymoon. They make a lovely couple, really. Well, no, neither one of them will ever see 27 again, but nevertheless, it was a case of love at first sight. He saw her. She saw him. Double whammy. Neither one of them has ever done anything like this before. I mean, like getting married. You have to admit, that's making a commitment. Three weeks ago, if you had told Fred Jackson that today he'd be carrying his bride across the threshold, well, maybe not exactly carrying her. At the same time, if you had told Margaret Jackson, that is, Margaret McLemory, that today she'd be culminating a two-week whirlwind courtship in a rented house in the country with a middle-aged Lochinvar who is practically a total stranger... Well, they both would have told you you were bonkers. But as I said, here they come. The newlyweds, with the ceremony and the honeymoon behind them. Ready to tackle the happily ever after part. Which in this case is not the end, but the beginning of our story. Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening, brought to you five nights a week by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops. Your hosts, Lorne Green. I'll bring you stories of the Old West and the New. Andy Griffith with a look at the funny side of life. Vincent Price with tales of mystery and suspense. Cicely Tyson with stories about love hate, and related things. Richard Whitmark. I'll bring you stories of pure adventure. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Story Should Old Acquaintance Be Forgot by Shirley Gordon. Our stars, Eve Arden and Brooks West. I sell draperies at Sears. Yesterday, a lady came in and said that she'd been in and out of about every store in town looking for draperies and at this point didn't know what she wanted anymore. I asked questions about her tastes and decor and then made suggestions. She was thrilled. She found what she wanted and learned a little too. It made me feel good to know that I helped her out. Sears people are friendly people who help you find what you want. Sears, 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 where America shops. 
Nearly everyone at our party mentioned our new Sears Dream Supreme carpeting. Didn't anyone say anything about my rutabaga dip? Marvin said Dream Supreme looks so thick and luxurious. He loved its velvety soft plush pile. What about my rutabaga dip? Eloise adored the color. Of my rutabaga dip? I told her that avocado lime is just one of Dream Supreme's 20 lustrous colors, and when Doris heard that Dream Supreme is so reasonably priced and treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector... Okay, what about my tuna fish upside down cake? Dream Supreme carpeting in most larger Sears retail stores. Hey, look, in here, inside this stylish man's dress shirt. I'm a Sears Value dress shirt label just popping with pride because Sears Value dress shirts are sure to be popular for a number of reasons. They have fashion spread collars, come in classic patterns and solids in short and long sleeves. You'll appreciate the permapressed polyester or polyester cotton blends for easy care, plus at low value prices, what a buy! Just look for me, the Value dress shirt label at Sears Men's Store, where style, sense, and satisfaction combine to label me right for you. Give your Valentine fragrances from Sears and release the inner spirits of romance. Give her free-wheeling, breezy Charlie by Revlon. Give him the rich, manly crispness of English leather. Or for them both, Chauvin Sports Sense. Refreshing, exhilarating, and all of them ideal for a Valentine surprise. Choose these or many other popular fragrances at most Sears retail stores. <laughs> There they are, the newlyweds, stopped in front of their first little house. Happy, of course, we can see that. Ever after? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Well, there it is, ready and waiting. It has nothing on me. I've been waiting years for it. It's better than coming home to my old bachelor apartment, or yours, isn't it? Oh, much. We're beginning a new life together. It should be in a place that's ours together from the start. Our home. I hope all our things are here. And the utilities turned on and everything. Don't worry, they will be. I have a very efficient secretary. Very efficient. And very old and very ugly. Oh, darling. A wife being jealous of her husband's secretary went out with Jean Harlow movies. Oh, good. I hope you're not planning to wax romantic and try to carry me over the threshold with the way I've gone off my diet these last two weeks. I'll restrain myself. Well, open sesame. Welcome to our home, sweetheart. Oh, wait till I get the light. Oh. Well, if your secretary is as old and ugly as she is efficient... Well, you know help these days. You have to take what you can get. Oh, no lights and no heat. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll light up your life. And you've got my love to keep you warm. <laughs> Who was it said, life begins at 40? You did when you proposed to me. I did? wasn't very romantic. At my age, a woman is looking for other things besides romance, like a comfortable home. Sorry. I guess we'll just have to settle for romance. Until morning, anyway. Which brings up another point. What do you suggest we're going to sleep on? Well, uh, hey, none of our things are here. I'll have to have a talk with that secretary. Well, first thing in the morning, darling. Meanwhile... I suppose we could drive to a motel. No. We're not going to spend our first night in our new home in a motel. We'll just have to curl up on the floor. Well, good hardwood. Oh, darling, remember, we're country folk now. Where's your pioneering spirit? Oh, I think I left it in my other suit. Well, look at it this way, darling. Someday you can tell our grandchildren about this night. Well, I don't know about that. I was planning on giving it an R rating myself. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Fred! Uh, uh, what's the matter? You were snoring. I was sleeping. But all during the whole week of our honeymoon, you didn't snore once. I only snore when I sleep. So you do. Uh, well, maybe I only snore when I sleep on the floor. 
Oh, I thought sleeping on a board all night was supposed to be good for your back. Well, that's only if the board is under a posturepedic mattress. Well, sounds like we have company. Oh, and I haven't even got the floor made. No, I'll get it. I tried the doorbell. It doesn't work. Come in, Kelly. I have a few things to take up with you. Oh, oh, uh, Margaret, uh, this is Kelly Brown, my... my... Secretary. <laughs> I'd know you anywhere from Mr. Jackson's description. Really? What did he say? Just how was it you described Miss Brown, darling? Efficient. Honestly? Oh, Mr. Jackson, that's the nicest thing anybody ever said about me. My pleasure. I brought you some mail. I, I thought you might want to see. Never mind the mail, Kelly. Where are all our things? I ask you to arrange to have everything moved out from my apartment and from Miss McElmurray's, uh, uh, Mrs. Jackson's, remember? Oh, sure, but I didn't think you want them delivered until you were here to tell me where to put everything. There are a few basic things they probably could have figured out for themselves, like a bed in the bedroom. A stove in the kitchen. Well, don't worry. Everything's on its way. The moving van should be here any time now. Good girl. You see, Margaret? Thank you, Miss Brown. And the utilities, the gas and electricity, the telephone. Oh, I knew I forgot something. That's three things, Kelly. I'll take care of them right away, Mr. Jackson. I'll call you as soon as I get back to the office. Yeah. Well, if I don't pick up the phone right away, it'll be because I can't find it. Oh, that's right. I'll take care of the telephone first thing, then. Uh, after the gas and the electricity. Right. Well, congratulations, Mr. Jackson. Oh, you too, Mrs. Jackson. Thank you. I'm glad to have met you, Miss Brown. Drop into the office any time. Oh, I will. See you later, Kelly. Would you believe I'm just a father figure to her? She's the niece of an old college buddy of mine, and he asked me to hire her as a favor. I'm helping her work her way through business college. Darling, you're adorable when you squirm. And you'll never be a father figure to me. <laughs> Sweetheart, it's official. We're amalgamated. All our assets are together in one place. Darling, we may be made for each other, but our assets appear irreconcilable. How are we going to fit in my Swedish modern with your... Grandmother's attic? Wait till you see some of the goodies I'm finding in this carton. Last night we had nothing to sleep on. Now we have two... My grandmother's genuine old antique feather bed. But I have a lovely king-size Swedish... Oh, we'll stick that in the guest room. My grandmother can sleep on it when she comes. She loves Swedish modern. That's why she threw out all her genuine old antiques. What is this deadly thing, dear? Oh, that. That's just my grandfather's genuine old antique horse pistol. You don't have to worry. It hasn't been loaded for years. Wish I could say the same for my grandfather. Personally... I think it's going to make our marriage all the more interesting. Uh, getting acquainted as we go along. I give up. What is it? Oh, that. I made that myself. Isn't that marvelous? Too bad it got broken. It's a mobile. Wait till you see it hung. I didn't know you were so artistic. This painting isn't bad at all. You ought to finish it. It is finished. It's an abstract. Oh? What's it called? Self-portrait. Oh. Oh. You see, darling, you have lots to learn about me, too. I, I... I guess so. Well, really, Fred. This looks like it was time you grew up and got married. Hey, you found my old box kite. I haven't flown that since... last spring. Well, we'd better start figuring out where all this stuff is going to go. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Who's this? Of uh, that photograph? Oh, that's only Tom. Only Tom who? Tom Hammer. He's an old friend. 
Darling, at my age, I'm bound to have a few old friends. Do they all look like this? Tom is very good looking, isn't he? But I married you. Well, I'm not exactly bad looking. How close an old friend? Tom? Oh, we've known each other for years. I suppose you could say we were kind of engaged. Engaged? How come you never even mentioned him before? On our honeymoon? Are you sure you don't have an old friend or two you haven't mentioned? Not that kind of an old friend. Except, except Jane, of course. Wait till she hears I've tied the old knot. Jane? Jane Roberts. I suppose you could say Jane and I were sort of engaged, too, for years. Do you have a picture of her? No. And his picture isn't staying up in our house. Tom's? But I, I'll have to find some place for it. I've always had it on the wall. I'd miss it. I told you he's an old friend. What are you looking for? I thought you said you didn't have a picture of your old friend. Only snapshots. But I can have one enlarged and framed. You're right. No reason to give up old friends just because we're married. No, of course not. Ah, oh, here we are. This snap was always my favorite. You can hardly see her face. Her face will show up more when it's enlarged. Yeah, so will everything else. But I married you. <laughs> you hadn't seen that much of me until after our wedding. You don't hear me complaining, do you? No, me either. Does he really look as good as that picture? Who? Oh, Tom. <laughs> Does she? I'd, I'd like, like to, to meet, meet her. Uh, I, I mean, since he's such an old friend of yours. And since I'm going to be living with his picture... I'd like to see what her face looks like. I'm sure Jane would love to meet you. I'm not sure Tom would love to meet you. You'll like Jane. She's very likable. Tom's adorable. You'll... <laughs> <laughs> but, but we, we married, married us. us. Sears, where America shops, invites you to apply for the Sears credit card. It gives you credit in over 3,600 Sears stores coast to coast. Whether you live or travel in any of the 50 states, there's a Sears store where you can shop for what you need for your family, home, or car. You can apply for the Sears credit card at any Sears store or by calling this toll-free number now. Call 800-526-0444. That's 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents call 800-652-2777. Eyes right, eyes left. Eyes will go from head to toe when you dress right dressing in the newest fashion attention getter. Sears salutes the military look with double-breasted short jackets, belted skirts, and narrow leg trousers with front pleats. All standing tall in navy or tan polyester and cotton twill. Junior sizes 5 to 13. So, march into most Sears larger retail stores and arm yourself with the latest military style. Who at ease. Dear, today I found the bedroom suite of my dreams at a great price. That's a coincidence. I found one that has all the features. Well, mine has authentic country styling. So does mine. Does yours have a beautiful 26-step finish? Nothing but, and I get a choice of 13 different pieces. All built to last for a long time? Yes, with sturdy tongue and groove construction and dovetail jointed drawers. <gasps> Is yours Sears, Sears open, open hearth, hearth bedroom, bedroom furniture? furniture? Sears open hearth bedroom collection. Expert craftsmanship at a reasonable price. Select from 13 different pieces. Now at most Sears retail stores. It's enjoyable to think about your favorite things and even more enjoyable to wear your favorite sportswear from Sears. Like the shirt, teamed with pants that fit. The shirt is a permapressed Easy Care polyester knit in a choice of prints and solid colors. And a comfortable, flattering fit is yours with pants that fit. These polyester knit permapressed pull-on pants are proportioned for tiny, typical, or tall gals in splendid solid shades to match the shirt. Give a boost to your wardrobe in the sportswear department at most larger Sears retail stores. Well, there's the predicament. Margaret and Fred happily married, if newly so. The ink on the marriage license not yet dry, in a manner of speaking. And he's invited his ex-lady friend over for a bite of dinner, while she's invited her ex-boyfriend. Gives us all a good chance to see if civilization works. 
Good morning, Kelly. I'm glad to hear you're keeping busy. That's a new... Uh, that's a new accompaniment, isn't it? Only for advanced students. Sousa would be proud. I wasn't expecting you, Mr. Jackson. I thought you were taking another week's vacation. I am, after the house is settled. Mrs. Jackson decided it would be better that way. And she said to thank you for getting everything turned on so efficiently. Tell her it was my pleasure. Oh, um, here are your phone messages. Good girl. Except Miss Roberts, she called so many times I stopped writing her down. But I didn't tell her anything. Hmm. Well, get her on the phone for me, will you? But don't tell her anything. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Miss Roberts is on one, Mr. Jackson. Thanks. Hello, Jane. Oh, uh, Jane, how have you been? Where have you been? I didn't say where. I said how. All right, so I won't ask. All right, so I'll tell you. On my honeymoon. Very funny. It would be if it weren't true. You almost sound like you're on the level. Are you? Her name is Margaret. Margaret? No one you know. I just met her myself. What's her last name? Jackson, now. Fred, you are on the level. Matter of fact, as soon as the house is settled, I want you to... You have a house already? A nice little place in the country. We rented it before we left on our honeymoon. Then that's really where you've been. No wonder Kelly's been acting like secret agent 007 every time I've called. She could have told you. You could have told me. Well, guess this means our engagement is off. If it was still on, yes, this means it's off. But since when was it still on? Oh, Fred, just because I kept telling you it was off. Well, I finally took you up on it. And you know darn well you're glad. That's how much you know. No woman likes to be jilted. Janie, girl, if you want to think of yourself as jilted, be my guest. I'll decide after I meet her. Never mind the house. I can't wait. How about this evening? Impossible. All right, tomorrow night, then. I'll call you in the afternoon for directions. But... And tell her not to go to a lot of bother just for me. Tell her what old friends we are. Bye, Freddy. I'll say my congratulations till I see you. Yes, sir? You can talk now, Kelly. She's gone. Get me Mrs. Jackson on the phone. Yes, sir. Sing this song. The line's busy, Mr. Jackson. Oh. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll call her later. So, Tom, I wanted you to be the first to know new address and all. Well, thanks for small favors, Maggie. Oh, but you know you and I were only drifting. It was never really going to come to anything. I thought it already was something. Well, to marriage, I mean. I didn't know you were the marrying kind. I know. I didn't either. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to at least come out and check this guy out. Uh, how about tomorrow evening? Tomorrow? But the house isn't the even... The house? Come on, Maggie. You're forgetting who you're talking to. But I'm not sure Fred... Never but... mind, Fred. I'm coming to see you. Fred's had you to himself long enough. All right, Tom. It will be good to see you. Ah, that's more like it. Until tomorrow, Maggie, love. <sighs> it's Mrs. Jackson for you, Mr. Jackson. Oh. Oh. Hello, sweetheart. I'm sorry to disturb you at the office, darling. Matter of fact, I just tried to call you. The line was busy. Yes, I know. Darling, I was wondering if you'd mind if we had company tomorrow evening. Sweetheart, that's just what I was going to ask you. <laughs> it might be fun. Should be laughs. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, who are you expecting? Who are you expecting? Well, Jane called and... Tom called me. You mean they're both coming? The same night? It might be fun. Should be laughs. Well, here's to our first...
first party in our new home. You're amazing, sweetheart. How you have managed to pull things together. I wonder what your friend Jane will think. She used to tell me if she and I got married, I'd have to throw out all my old junk. Likeable Jane said that? She didn't really mean it. Well, Tom has always been very supportive of all my artistic outlets. Did he understand them? Oh, perfectly. Because he knows me so well. Well, I'm willing to learn. You will. Uh-oh. Here we go. I'll get it. All we need for this evening is an MC. Hello, Maggie. Come in, Tom. Well, I guess I have to offer my congratulations along with these. Oh, my favorite yellow roses. Oh, thank you. I bought you red roses on our wedding day. Why didn't you tell me? Tom, this is Fred. The lucky man. I thought roses are supposed to be red. You know, roses are red, violets are blue. Oh, oh, excuse me. How are you? All you have to drink. He'll have a vodka martini. Very dry. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Force of habit. I'll go put these in water while you two get acquainted. Um, how, how did you do it? That painting? I didn't do it. I don't even understand it. No, no, no. I meant, how did you get Margaret to say yes? I tried for a lot of years, you know. I didn't give her time to think it over. She said you understand it. That painting, I mean. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Uh, how long have you known Margaret? Three weeks. That's all? One of them was our honeymoon. That ought to count extra. And this painting of hers doesn't come through to you? Let's say it goes right past me. Uh, listen, uh, Fred, old boy. That is the most self-revealing portrait I've ever seen. It is? I don't know that you should have it hanging here in your living room, right on display like this. Margaret hung it there. I didn't. Well, of course. Maggie Wood, she's... Uh, well, she's just what's up there on that canvas. Oh, what a woman. Oh, don't worry, Fred, darling. Don't try to understand it. Just enjoy it. You have a point, sweetheart. Have an hors d'oeuvre, Hammer. Something to whet your appetite while I freshen your drink. I'll take care of Tom, darling. It's your turn to play celebrity guest. Right. Freddy, in your own little house in the country with the crickets and everything. How nice. Janie, girl. Come on in. Everybody's in the living room. Oh? Everybody who? <laughs> Margaret and her old... Uh, that is, an old friend of Margaret's came out, too. Oh? Ah, so you're Margaret... I'm Freddie's Jane, Jane Roberts. I'm delighted to meet you. And this is my Tom, Tom Hammer, a very old friend. Uh, how do you do? <laughs> Marvelously, thank you. <laughs> well, here we all are. Relax, dear. Go and fix your Jane a drink. No reason we shouldn't feel comfortable with each other. After all, we all have someone in common. Oh, that was a scrumptious dinner. What a waste, Maggie. A good cook like you, married to a man who can't eat. Now, wait a minute. I can eat anything. Except that then you can't sleep all night. Of course, that can be a blessing with the way he snores. What are you doing about that? Well, Earplugs I... helped a lot. I'm certainly going to miss your cooking. Oh, understand, Margaret, dear. I didn't mean to imply... <laughs> no, you see, I have this boat, and Freddie and I used to spend a lot of time on it. But it was purely platonic, of course. The SS Platonic. My, but she was yar. And, of course, Fred, old boy, I only meant that Maggie, dear girl, would often suggest that we eat in rather than out. Much cozier. Not if you eat green onions. There wasn't anything Margaret cooked that I couldn't eat. My digestive tract is faultless. As a matter of fact, I don't snore either. How are you on the water? I'm extremely seaworthy. Marvelous. You'll have to give me your number. I knew you for months before you asked me out on your boat. Darling, you didn't look seaworthy from the start. Here's my card. Call me any time. Well, you've certainly changed, Tom. I've never seen you so quick on the draw with your phone number. Well, I was just thinking I've been too much of a recluse, too much nose to the old grindstone. I know. I was there, remember? 
Yeah, you were always telling me that, weren't you? Well, I'm just realizing you were right. You've probably come up with just the answer, Miss Roberts. A refreshing weekend on your boat. The SS Platonic. Why not this weekend, Mr. Hammer? Why not? Now, wait a minute, Janie girl. Aren't you rushing things a little? I mean, you don't even know this guy. Fred, I assure you, Tom is a perfect gentleman. That is, he always was. There, Jane, you see. Even his old friends won't vouch for him. Well, it's just that I've never known him to rush into anything like this before. Maggie, I assure you... Look, this... would you two old friends like to come along and chaperone? Yes. No, of course not. Why not? Because we wouldn't think of it. That's right. We wouldn't think of it. Tom's over 21, perfectly free to do as he pleases. And I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Oh, I'm sure he knows what he's doing, too. Fred, you know very well I'm able to take care of myself. Yeah, I know. Jane, I should tell you, Tom is different than Fred. <laughs> he's, well, more sensitive in a way, more conservative. You mean he was? Yes. I simply insist that you both come along this weekend. We'd love to have you. Wouldn't we, Mr. Hammer? Delighted, Miss Roberts. No, really. We wouldn't think of it. Welcome aboard. Thanks. This ocean air feels great. It was lovely of you to invite us along, too, wasn't it, Fred? Sure was. Well, here we all are. Again. Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. When George had his heart attack, the doctor told me that we had to reduce the animal fat in his diet. His cholesterol count was too high. What did you do? George gets only lean meats, and I always cut off extra fat before cooking. He gets low-fat dairy products, grains and cereals, fish, poultry with no skin, fresh fruits and vegetables, and you know what? What? Our food bill is lower than before George had his heart attack. But doesn't he miss all what's, of them? What's to miss? He eats better than ever before and has more variety in his meals, too. And you know what? What? I do, too. What? Enjoy! The American Heart Association wants you to eat foods that not only taste good, but are healthy for your heart. It's not as complicated as you might think. Ask your Heart Association for their free booklet on heart-healthy diets. The American Heart Association. We're fighting for your life. I'm lost and lonely, scared and sad. Trembling at the thought of making you mad. My love is yours, but at times you're so cold. If life's like this, take me before I grow old. This song about child abuse was written by a man now serving time in a state prison. It is estimated that there are at least one million cases of child abuse in America each year. Child abusers and their children can both be helped. Find out how. Write Prevent Child Abuse, Box 2866, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. Please stop the hurt. I've suffered since my birth. Join the abused child's fight. Put an end to the sleep. A message of the Ad Council and the National Committee for Prevention of Child Abuse. Andy Griffith again with the concluding act of Should Old Acquaintance Be Forgotten? Well, I must say this is most refreshing. Yeah, yes, isn't it? You're out of shape, Freddy, darling. No, he isn't. Thank you, dear. Then why don't you and Tom try a little fishing while Margaret and I have a little girl talk? Well, I've never done any ocean fishing before, but I'm game to try. Girl talk? About what? I should imagine Jane and I have lots to talk about. Now that you mention it, I guess you and I have a few things to hash over. Haven't we, hammer old man? Right. Hmm. 
I feel as though now I should bring out a picture of Freddy nude on a bearskin rug. <laughs> Do you have one? I really don't want you to tell me about Fred. I'd rather wait and be surprised. Oh, you probably already know him better than I ever did. Well, it only took me two weeks to know he was the man I'd waited years to marry. On the other hand, uh, feel free to tell me everything about your old friend, Mr. Hammer. Tom? Well, as you can see, he's handsome and quite rich and very sweet. Freddie's sweet. Period. Tom is absolutely everything a woman dreams of. I wonder why I didn't marry him. Watch yourself. This deck can get pretty slippery. I'm afraid I'm not too much of an outdoorsman. I haven't had much time. According to Margaret, you've been busy hauling in the kind of fish that count. Well, I'm not so sure money counts in the long run. Didn't land me Margaret. Margaret's not the kind to marry a guy for his money. Fortunately for me. Well, she's also not the kind who would turn a guy down just because he happened to be a little filthy rich. No, she's no fool. Uh, what about your friend Jane? What about her? Uh, how do you suppose she would feel about a guy who's filthy rich? Jane is doing all right on her own. She's become queen of the real estate jungle. Well, she seems quite remarkable. Besides looking like a centerfold... I wonder why I didn't marry her. Uh, excuse me, old boy. I'm not sure, but I think you may have something on the end of your line. Well, oh, 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 holy mackerel. Something bigger, I should think. You need some help? Out of the way, Hammer. This is my baby. Now, careful. It's a slippery deck, remember? Don't worry about me. You just take care of your... Oh! Steady, old boy. I'll get you to... Oh! Did you hear something? I'm not sure. I thought I heard someone yell. Oh, dear. It's probably Freddy again. Or Tom. I'll get the life preservers. Man overboard! Help! Here, Tom. Grab hold. Here comes yours, Freddy. Catch. Well, let's reel them in. <laughs> Oh, oh. <coughs> I, thank you, Maggie Love. If you hadn't thrown, thrown me that life preserver, I would have been a goner. Lucky you remembered me, Janie girl. Oh, I'm sorry, darling, but I knew that Tom couldn't swim. Don't blame your bride, Freddie dear. How was she to know how sinkable you are? Oh, she didn't have to wait to find out. Oh, darling, I promise next time I'll rescue you first. Thanks a lot. Uh, oh, dear... He always catches cold when he falls overboard. Ah, oh, don't be too put out with Margaret, Fred, old boy. It's hard to break an old habit. Habit. Oh, oh Tom, your poor sinuses. Yes, after all, Freddy, I instinctively rescued you. Oh, Gesundheit, darling. Don't worry. I have a special hot toddy that always works for Freddy's colds. I wonder if it would work for me. Tom, I've known how to take care of your sinuses for years. Margaret, dear, it sounds as though you and I are going to have to exchange remedies. Or patience. Good morning, Kelly. Anything for me? Uh, Mr. Hammer, he's waiting in your office. Oh? I... Bless you. Thank you. You can strike up the band again. Yes, sir. Mm. Hello, Hammer. Oh, bless you and cheer up, Fred, old boy. Uh, Jane sent you some of her magic hot toddy in a thermos. I put it there on the desk. Thanks, but how come she didn't bring it over herself? She had something else to do. Oh, and you can tell Margaret I won't be needing her vaporizer. The sea air is working wonders for my sinuses. The sea air? Yes, I've become quite fond of Jane's boat. Her boat? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be taking an extended cruise. That's what I dropped by to tell you. Tell me? Well... I really thought I owed you the courtesy. I mean, considering your long attachment in the past. That is, it's rather like asking a father for his daughter's hand in marriage. 
Except in this case, we don't exactly have marriage in mind. Yet. I give up. Just what do you have in mind? The South Seas, Tahiti, or one of those places. Jane and I haven't decided exactly where yet. But we'd like to know that we'll be sailing off with your blessing. You mean Jane and you? You're sailing off into the sunset together? Exactly. Well... I would have thought this is something that Jane would have come and told me herself. Oh, but that's just it. Jane thought she owed it to Margaret to ask for my hand. Coming! Oh, Jane. Uh, come in. I hope you don't mind my popping in like this. Well, if you don't mind taking things as you find them... I really do think you're doing wonders, considering. I always told Fred if we ever got married, he'd have to throw out all his old junk. But he said you didn't mean it. Oh, yes, I did. Well, I'm getting used to it. I guess maybe you and Fred are made for each other. After all the years that I thought it was Tom... And all the years I thought it was Fred. Then you don't mind that I suddenly showed up and jumped your claim? Well, it's a bit late for me to mind, isn't it? I suppose so. What about Tom? What about Tom? What if I told you I'm more than mildly interested in him? Well, Tom's free as a breeze. I don't have any claim on him anymore, if I ever did. Well, Freddie doesn't have any claim on me either. But you've both been acting like a pair of overprotective parents, so Tom and I thought... Oh, you're right. I dropped Tom, but I didn't like it when you came along and picked him up. <laughs> it's not easy to give up an old love even after you've found a new one. Especially when someone else finds the old love appealing. <laughs> but I guess Fred and I have been kind of overdoing it. From now on, as far as I'm concerned, you can see all you want of Tom. You sure? Sure. <laughs> How are his sinuses, by the way? I was thinking of dropping over with my vaporizer. He doesn't need it. His sinuses are fine. Really? I've found a better remedy. Really? Yes, in fact, that's what I dropped by to tell you. Tell me what? Tom and I are planning to see a lot of each other. Quite a lot. Oh? We're, uh, we're going to take a cruise to the South Seas on my boat. You and Tom? Right. Me and your Tom. But why didn't Tom come and tell me himself? We thought he should ask Fred for my hand while I ask you for Tom's. Oh, <laughs> Well, then, give him a message for me, will you? What is it? Bon voyage. Margaret? Mm hmm? You still awake? Mm hmm. I still can't get over it. My Janie girl just sailing off like that with some guy she just met. Well, I guess Tom could sweep any girl off her feet when he finally made up his mind to. You'd think she'd at least have waited a decent interval. Darling, you got married, not buried. The trouble with you and me is our egos are suffering. There's nothing wrong with my ego. Good. And let's go to sleep. What are you doing? Your Jane left me a wedding present. A pair of earplugs. Oh, you told me you decided my snoring had a soothing quality. You can get used to anything if you have to. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sweetheart, you haven't caught my cold, have you? No, it's your grandmother's genuine old antique feather bed. I told you I was allergic to feathers. I thought you meant only when the chickens were still attached. This is like trying to sleep in a banana split. You'll get used to it. Well, it looks like we're going to spend the rest of our lives getting used to each other. Might be fun. Should be laughs. Fred, you're not going to smoke in this bed, are you? It takes an hour to climb out of it. We ought to hold fire drills. I just thought I'd read a little of this book that your Tom sent me as a wedding present. Tom sent you a book? Mm-hmm. It's called Understanding Abstract Art. <laughs> He's bluffing. He never understood that painting of mine any more than you do. Really? I told you, don't try to understand. Just enjoy, darling. 
Nothing abstract about this. Sears, where America shops, invites you to apply for the Sears credit card. It gives you credit in over 3,600 Sears stores coast to coast. Whether you live or travel in any of the 50 states, there's a Sears store where you can shop for what you need for your family, home, or car. You can apply for the Sears credit card at any Sears store or by calling this toll-free number now. Call 800-526-0444. That's 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents call 800-652-2777. This spring for women, the fashion place at Sears suggests these up-to-date separates. They're comfortably casual, yet dressy and light-hearted enough to go anywhere this spring. Margaret mixes Sears texture blazer and the small collar striped shirt with trousers. While Wendy wears a shawl collar blouse and the slim-down dirndl skirt. Color coordinated, these great-looking separates will come together beautifully for you. Spring's mixable, matchable, up-to-date separates. Get them at most larger Sears retail stores. One Valentine's Day I'll never forget is the time I received a diamond. There's nothing quite like diamonds for expressing love, and now there's no better time to buy them for your love. Now, at most Sears retail stores, all tradition diamond jewelry up to one carat is 20% off till February 24th. That's 20% off diamond solitaires, pendants, earrings, bracelets, stick pins, and fashion rings. So give her a diamond from Sears, and she'll remember this Valentine's Day forever. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. When I need advice, I go to my mom. Why not? It's free. Now that I'm married and moving into a new house, I want all the advice I can get. So when mom says shop Sears, I listen. You should. Sears is a great help on those big items you'll need for your new home. Major appliances like washers, dryers, and refrigerators. They'll deliver, install, and service. I always depend on Sears. You should, too. Sears, 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 where America shops. been listening to Sears Radio Theater, brought to you five nights a week by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops. Should Old Acquaintance Be Forgot was written by Shirley Gordon, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Andy Griffin. Our stars were Eve Arden and Brooks West. Also heard were Mary Jane Croft, Hi Aberbach, and Joan McCall. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI.